Tonight, the mom of the man found dead inside a tractor trailer on 590 last week talked with News 8 to tell us about her son and the questions she's asking. Police tell us they still don't know how 37-year-old Jeffrey Shorter of Irondequoit died, but his mother is pushing for answers. Christian Garzon spoke with her and joins us now live with her story. Christian. Well, Adam, his mom, Susan, said Jeffrey had taken a two-week vacation to Florida, came back, and was in his truck on his way to pick up someone for work. But there are things Susan feels are out of place, uh, the truck being on the side of the road for 24 hours, and the window all the way down has her left wondering. Last week was a day that I'll just never forget. It's embedded in my life, and I don't even know why it happened. Susan Sackett wants to know why her son, Jeffrey Shorter, was found deceased inside the back of his truck last week alongside 590. She says the cab was on the side of the road for 24 hours with police stopping to check. The window was rolled all the way down like something was happening with Jeff because it was freezing cold at night. She's asking why any officer responding in that 24-hour period didn't open the latch and look in the back of the truck. And that's what's embedded in my mind is, could he have saved my son? But the cause of death is still undetermined. There is a family history of heart attacks, she says, but who knows at this point. Somehow, some way, Jeff was in the wrong place at the wrong times. He pulled over the, for the cab for some reason or another because with the window down, because something was happening to him. Susan says with so many parents losing their children across the region due to things like violence and drug use, she's hoping to find others to lean on and perhaps a new mission to keep moving forward for him. I know Jeff is still here. And Susan told me she still messages Jeff every evening, wishing him good night. Their bond, she says, is still close and eternal. Live in Rochester, Christian Garzon, News 8. Adam, Teresa, right back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. What a sad story. Susan did tell us Jeffrey's funeral is now scheduled for next week.